Really big. Big beaver though. Super foggy over here. Got little Sethy with me today. You guys have seen him before. Oh, a cast right here. He had some surgery on his shoulder. He's uh, getting prepared for next uh, uh, year's deer season. He literally scheduled the surgery after deer season. So kudos to him. But we're back over here at the dam, guys. I got this trap right here has been kicking my butt. This is the second day in a row. Trap got set off. Nothing in it, no fur. But it looks like I connected again over here. Now, I told you yesterday I've caught four big beavers and I'm expecting to catch it like four to six more small beavers out of this spot right here. And this is a small beaver, guys. I can already tell. Let me get this camera on my head. Look how small this is. Small beaver. <clears throat> Good front foot catch. So this is the first small beaver out of this spot. So like I told you, I'm expecting at least, I'd say at least four more of these babies right here. Don't know if this is the one that was working this over here and set that trap off. I'm assuming that's another beaver there. So All right, let's get him out of here. Go ahead and show you the remake. Water's still flowing decent. I think setting right back where I was at right there on that where I told you that uh, little drop off right there is it's, I don't know it's been money Perfect. Open it up just a little bit more. All right, I'm not gonna show you the remake over here, guys, but I'll get it reset, so stay tuned. on this crossover still have yet to have anything there I don't know if they're just going around it now somewhere I just I don't know I really don't know maybe they are I don't know but I'm gonna keep it there because like I said this would be a good spot to catch an otter right here so all right let's keep checking all right back over here uh, yesterday that real big beaver was literally right here i filmed him just a little bit i can't not believe that i didn't get one right here at least you know coming up here and messing with this so i am gonna i'll probably leave this one here but i brought another drowner set i think i'll we'll put it right over there but we did 
we're trapped up over here, guys. We are trapped up. <laughs> and I think it's a big beaver too. Oh, gotta come. I think we got him coming this way. I think I figured we would have caught him coming this way, guys. Oh yeah, big beef. Oh, big beaver. Good head catch. Big beaver. Not as big as the one yesterday, guys. This is a big beaver. And so, I caught this beaver coming this way. So, unless these beavers come out and then around somehow and then come back in, there should still be at least two more beavers over here, so. Not a bad day, got two beavers. Prep my setters. Big old beaver. Yep. There's tons of, that's all the trees up here, guys, that I seen yesterday. I didn't even show you guys, but just tearing up trees all through there. So it's like, geez, there's some active stuff. Oh yeah. Not real long, but he's a fatty. Whew. All right, we'll get this one back in the water here. Maybe, trigger's all jacked up. There we go. Should've brought my waders, but. Water is cold. Yeah, well, you stake these off so your trap actually stays solid, but I put these here so they don't try to swim like over the top and cross it a little bit. I'm gonna take the safety latches off, slide them all the way up. Just like that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a stick right here just in case. Shouldn't, but just in case. All right, we got that one in the water. I'm gonna go set one more drowner set over here to up my odds, so. All right, stay tuned. Right, Make a caster mount set right here. Just gonna dig into the bank a little bit. Make a little bit of a slide, a slide looking deal. A spot to put my trap. See how that water's working its way up to the bank? That's what we want. I 
That's what we want. I'd say that's probably good. Oh. trap bed. Like I told you guys I want this trap to be set in about two inches to three inches underwater. This is perfect. Ow! Thorns in my ass! Whew. Get out of there! Don't let him fool you. He likes it. <laughs> I made it, yeah. It's a little early for them to be making a bunch of caster mounds, but it's getting pretty close. They'll still go check it out though. Gosh dang. Bunch of sticks, which isn't good because I want that trap to be able to slide down that drowner, drowning rod. Of course there's thorns. I guess I can stick that drowning rod that way. Avoid those sticks. I always flatten it out so I can see if they're actually working the trap over or not. You what? So there you go, slap it. <laughs> the weather's supposed to be pretty cold at night, guys, so I think a lot of times my casters are gonna be freezing up on me. So hopefully they're getting here a little earlier. Let's see, don't want that. There we go. I am a little worried that my trap's gonna get caught up on some sticks. Took that thorn right in the knee. Gosh dang. even like what do we got going on here there make sure that rod's getting jammed in there <laughs> Seth do you want to get your hand muddy and hand me that rod please not really but I will for you thanks bud thanks for handing me that rod my rod anytime, <laughs> Cover that up. Okay, that's perfect. Now we'll get the lure. Trapper J Beaver lure. Right there, that'll help get that cast that scent across. <sighs> All right. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna that's gonna do it for today. Pretty successful trip on the line for trapping beavers. Uh, we didn't have uh, any of our coyote sets messed with, but I always say I don't do very good on the first night. Usually the third night's the best night for me. 
Still trying to catch my breath of walking up that hill. I'm fat and out of shape. This guy over here, he's just out of shape. He's not fat. <laughs> and he's a big baby. But well guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh we'll catch you on the next one.